So this is extra footage about these graphs and numbers adding up to squares. It's pretty interesting, but it won't make sense if you haven't watched the original video. So check that out. There are links on screen and in the description. But if you have watched that, I hope you enjoy this. This may be a little bit familiar if you've seen uh, the video with Cliff Stoll looking at the bridges of um, Konigsberg, but that's the flip problem. That's can you go through every single edge once because you want to go over the bridges. This is can you go to all the islands? Can you go to every single vertex once? And you don't have to use all the edges. And so an Euler path is where you use all the edges. A Hamiltonian path is when you use all the vertices. Matt, this is so interesting. I feel like it should be in a book. It, you know what? I had a very similar um, thought, Brady, and oh, I got a copy right here. Oh. How about that? Things to make and do in the fourth dimension by Matt Parker, which, um, oh, I have got a US cover. There we are. Let's, uh, let's do the whole thing. Is that Hang the on. one where all the spellings are changed to take out U's and things? Yeah, exactly. So this one, actually the changes were kind of fun when I did the US one. So this has got no U's, but, uh, and a lot fewer S's. And aluminum? I changed, uh, yes, I changed the pronunciation of aluminum. And there's, um, this one says soccer, this one says football. This one was, this one just says Birmingham, this one says Birmingham, UK. And in this one I use um, train spotting as an example. And the US editors were like, what on earth is train spotting? And I was like, oh, you got, you're missing out. And so I turned it into stamp collecting. That was the closest equivalent I could find. So when I wrote my book, you can see, uh, I got some stuff here about graphs. Boom, okay, there it is. So there's a version of the, kind of the blue ones I had a second ago, which is just to solve the standard problem. And here obviously I've expanded it out. And when I was writing the book, I put in the fact, I think it's interesting, it, it starts working at 15, doesn't work for 18, suddenly it works for 23, stops again. And then I said, I, I stated down here, oh, it, it, as far as we're aware, it works for every single value up to 89. So up to, uh, you know, 1 to 89 you can do this with, very complicated graph, but there is a path. Without those, with the, with the exceptions of? With the exceptions of the ones that were skipped over. Once you hit, you know, uh, 25, you're on easy street. They all work all the way up. People check all the way to 89. And I said, uh, it's conjectured that there, there are more of them. And the trouble with writing a book is you put a lot of facts in it and some of them are gonna be wrong. And I don't know if this has come up on number five, but I've been known to make a mistake every now and then. And so I uh, got a friend of mine to be my fact checker. And so she went through and independently verified or double checked my working out and just made sure as best she could. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm very creative at hiding my mistakes. So some of them made them through, but she gave it a second look over to check um, if everything was right. And so she got to this one here and she was like, well, I'll just double check because Matt, you know, not very good at drawing graphs. And so she, she double checked and I got, I got a message back from her saying, oh, I've double checked this and you're absolutely right. And you're correct to say that it works all the way up to 89, except it now works for 90 and 91. She went and checked the next two, two cases. Despite being hired as my fact checker, made a thing I said which was correct, incorrect. So she didn't find them published somewhere else? She, no, she, she did them. She, she sat down and she put effort into making me wrong. Up to 91? Up to 91. But she didn't do 92? She didn't do 92. She'd done enough, I guess, you know, just to make what I said incorrect. And so I had to put a little footnote here. Was it too late to change it in the book? It, uh, I possibly could have changed it in the book, but I was like, you know what? Fair play to her. She's, she's done some extra math that I hadn't done, and so I thought she was deserving of a footnote. And so um, I gave her a little footnote here, and she's in the acknowledgements. I think technically I phrased it, she um, checked the crap out of the book, which is a great sentence. And, but she didn't check the acknowledgements, so she didn't know um, that she was going to... And, and as far as I'm aware, there no mistakes made it into the acknowledgements. And so um, I didn't think it was, it was worth getting a fact checker onto that. So she was a footnote in my book, and now she's been promoted to... Footnote in a video, it's Charlie Turner, my long-suffering fact checker. 91 still up, still still correct, but I've gone a bit further. Where now, are you up to up, now? now up to 299. So 299? Yep. And so have you found any more numbers that don't work or? Nope. Uh, every number from where we were at before, 91 right up to 299, seems to work. And for the record, you weren't doing this between because it was like 2014. Yeah. You haven't done it between then and now. You literally, I got in touch and you're like, oh yeah, I'll just do that again. Yeah, exactly. I, I tried to find my code. I, I had to redo my code. Did you do it from scratch? 
Yeah, yeah, but I used code, I should admit. I, I was programming. I didn't just find my graphs on paper and add more numbers. That would have been, that would have taken me a bit longer. And, and what's your suspicion? Do you reckon it's always going to work? Now you're up to 299. I think that there's a there's this relationship between the number theory going on, the, you know, adding integers to make squares, and the graph theory. And I think that maybe there's a number theory reason why it might work forever, but I, I don't know. I would love to know if anyone's figured this out. I don't have a good name for it. So. You think I'm going the wrong way with my graph theory approach? You think it's... No, actually, that's not true. I think your graph theory approach is great for um, verifying single cases. Oh, thanks. And that's how I did it. Charlie, why haven't you done 300? Um, because I had to stop somewhere. But why would you stop at one <laughs> shot? Like, three, like, it's like, you can't stop at 299. Do you know how lists work in Python? No. Okay, so you count up to the, the end number of the list, but not, up, not including it. So I put something to 300, and then I got 299. This is an out by one error. Yeah, well, out by one it's, finish. It's, yeah. At least I didn't tell you I'd done out to 300. That's very true, that's very true. You didn't, you didn't lie. So, Charlie, you've stopped at 299. Do you think you're going to do any more numbers? Um, well, if Matt publishes another book, then I might do some more just to make him wrong. Again. Other than that, I think I'll probably be doing more computations only to figure out the theory, what's going on. So, for example, um, Matt's shown a single, single example of, of a right answer in each case, but are there multiple ways to do it? In some of them, there might be. I haven't checked that. So, there might be more details. That's a good point. And for the record, Charlie is a number theorist. So she's a little biased about, <laughs> about the way to solve this. I love graph theory, though. Yeah, everyone loves graph theory. <laughs> are, you, uh, are either of you tempted or uh, teased by the idea that there could be another number lurking out there that's going to break it? Like another, you know, kryptonite number up high? Feels unlikely. It'd be great if there was. Would, it, would you prefer that there's not, or would you prefer there is a break? I prefer there, there is. I, I would be much happier if there, we, we suddenly go, oh, it turns out 300 and... 300 doesn't work, and, um, and then we're like, oh, that's interesting, right? But I, I just think the way that the graphs are getting, they're like a real complex kind of mesh. Sorry to get graph theory again. And it just always looks like there'll be some system for finding that path. Yeah, I think in the early numbers, it breaks because you haven't got enough joins between the numbers. Um, as you add in more numbers and you're making more edges in your graph, you have potentially more possibilities of these paths. Yeah. Well, with some reluctance after he misspelled my name in the early editions, I am going to recommend Matt's book, Things to Make and Do in the Fourth Dimension. It is excellent. There are links to it in the video description. Although if you watch Number File, you should have bought this by now. Thanks also to Charlie, and also thanks to our patrons whose name you see on the screen. These are just some of them. These people help make our videos possible and help us do extra stuff. If you'd like to join them, go to patreon.com slash number file. You know, the additions with my name spelled incorrectly, they're collector's items now.